Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how you can add overlays to your Instagram videos using Adobe Premiere Rush. So stick around. Hey, my name is Claudio and welcome to my channel where I share tips, tools and tricks to help you share your story. Today I'm going to walk you through how you can add overlay images to your videos that you may share on Instagram TV. I'm going to be using Adobe Premiere Rush on my computer to walk you through. You can do this on your phone as well. It's just much easier with more real estate. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in. To start with, I'm going to click on create new project. And in order for this to work, we're going to have to create layers. First thing I'm going to do is add kind of a color background. So if you decide to do something like this, you can choose whatever color you want, maybe uh, kind of your brand colors or something like that. And then I'm going to go look for my uh, content here. So let's do this. Um, where is my video? Here, let's look right here. Let's go videos only. I'm going to be using that one right there. And then I'm going to grab the overlays that I'm going to use for my videos. So I've got several I'm going to be using. I have a, let's see here. I have a regular just phone overlay, kind of like a like a screen overlay. Well, we have to make sure and see all media type here. So we want to make sure and use a PNG. I'm going to be using my phone, uh, a phone, uh, iPhone screen PNG here. And then I will go and grab a different one that I have. Uh, this one has my picture on it. So let's see where that is at. Okay. Back up one more here and let's search this by name. The nice thing about using Adobe Premiere Rush is that you can do searches. You can kind of filter them down there at the bottom. If you kind of get stuck, uh, like I am here trying to find a lot of content on my computer. So here we have oops, that's not the one I want. Uh, we have, there we go. Selfie. Uh, portraits that I take here in my office and I've got a ton that I've taken with some uh, backgrounds that you can see there. I've got this one here that I'm going to be using It's PNG. Um, just kind of FYI, so if you notice those images there kind of have a black screen. Uh, let me click create here. So the way I did this is I laid a, a white background on uh, like kind of sometimes where I sit or I hold it on top of a stand. And then when I take a picture on my phone like this, what I what I did was create a green uh, image. I just went to Adobe Spark Post. You could use any uh, edit, graphic editing software. Create a green uh, kind of object, one that you can resize like that right there. That made it large. So that way, when I what I did is set myself up and took a picture like this. And let's see. Let's make that wider there. Sometimes it doesn't want to cooperate. Here we go. There we go. So I'll do this, take a picture. I'll try to make sure my fingers aren't like in the screen and it kind of make sure it kind of zoom in like that right there. So it's kind of sharp. And then I'll take a picture if I want to hold it this way or uh, landscape. And then I'll use Photoshop to take out that green. And that way uh, it's clear and then you save it as a PNG. And that way I can layer it in Adobe Premiere Rush or any pretty much any software. Um, that's so that's kind of how I create those. So here we go. We have our background color here, which is that green. And if you can see, I've got a, about a two and a half minute clip video. I just grabbed one that was on my phone for this demonstration. And what I'm going to be doing is grabbing this first layer over here. And let's make this a little bit easier to see. So let's, uh, zoom in here to the layers and then what i'm going to do is grab that uh yellow marker there or handle and I'm going to that's not what i want to do that one there we're going to just expand this i'm going to just go to about a minute and then the the piece here because that's going to be my background let's go up here to uh transform and now what I'll do here is just increase the size so it fills the whole screen. There we go. The next thing I'll do is let's enlarge this or I should say zoom out. So that way I can see all of my 
uh, assets here in this video project. And then here, we're going to grab this video and bring it on top. So that way, my color becomes the background. The reason being is because I'm going to resize that video. So it's not going to fit. By the way, my screen right here has already been set to 9 by 16, which is my Instagram size video formatted that way. If for some reason it does not switch there or automatically take, what you'll do is click right here and you can choose 16 by 9 and like I have 9 by 16, 4 by 5 and then your square. So for this demonstration, what I'm going to do here is just basically I'm going to trim right here uh, and just kind of remove the excess. This is kind of a throwaway video that I made. Um, I'm not really going to keep this. Uh, what I'll do is grab the scissors and we're going to trim where the uh, marker is right there. So let's go ahead and delete that extra video. And then we're going to grab these. These are the overlays that I created. We're gonna grab each one and lay it on top. Kind of create two separate ones to kind of show you what you can do here. So here we go, we got those two. Uh, we're gonna just kind of put them side by side and make them a little bit uh, longer here. So we'll grab this one here, just make that a little bit longer like that. We're gonna move that over to the side and then we're gonna grab this next one here and we're gonna do the same thing, just kind of drag it out. So you can see the differences. So uh, there's my phone overlay there that I have. And by the way, I'll share this with you in the description below. We're going to increase that size a bit. And it doesn't matter that it's off to the side because we're going to shift it over horizontally. So if you want to create some kind of uh, Instagram videos like this with like a phone overlay, it's a really cool way to do that. So as you can see, my video is kind of over to the right, left, top and bottom, you know, you, it, it's not fitting in there. So you can do several things to fix this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you uh, this option here is to click first on the video layer and then use the scale option. And we're going to scale it down to where it gets us close to fitting in there. Now it's okay if it kind of bleeds out. So we're gonna use another little tool here. Let's kind of get it close. It's gonna be right about there. Now, there is a crop option down here at the bottom. So we're gonna crop the left and right. We're going to crop in. So we're gonna do as close as we can, just so we don't see that little corner bleed out. That's about right there. And then we're gonna do the same to the left. Uh, I could just type in, let's see if it works, 9.8. Yeah, uh, it's a little bit, there we go, we'll fix that. So pretty much you kind of copy paste or just type into the scale there and the crop. So there we go. Um, right there I added an overlay and if I want to play through, I'm going to go ahead and let's, let's mute the video for now. So if I want to play through, you kind of see how it looks. There we go. And I have one more layer here, so if I want, I can drop in, let's see here, just for uh, the sake of this demo, let me go ahead and find my logo. So I'm gonna drop in my logo, because you know, when you're creating your videos, one of the, the things you wanna do is make sure you brand your your content, you know? People know who you are. Uh, and gone through so many rebrandings and I still have my older ones. So try to find there we go. Rebranded logo. Let's grab this PNG. I could have just dragged it over as well. And it's going to drop it towards the back because that's where it's at. And we just kind of drag it up here. Let's close that up. And there we go. We get up here. And as you can see, the logo is a little bit um, kind of overwhelming there. So let's minimize that. We're going to take it to the top. Let's put it like right there. And maybe bring down the opacity a little bit. Right about there. So one of the one of the cool things about doing that logo like that, I'm gonna stretch it out so I can use it on the other one. Um, just you wanna leave some space at the bottom there in case you wanna add some text. So as you're talking, kind of close captioning. Uh, that way people can read your videos 
when they're at work or someplace where they don't want to be heard. And uh, there's a really cool tool you can check out. It's called Capwing that you upload videos and it and it adds the caption. You can go ahead and edit them as well. I'll have that linked in the description as well as well as up here. All right, so let's go to this other option. So I want to show you another uh, overlay that I created here. This is the same concept. Uh, I created this overlay, took a picture of myself with the phone again. I have that yellow, I'm sorry, green image. So it's this one here and we're going to grab that and we're going to move it to the side. So this is kind of a different way to kind of uh, emphasize some of your content. And we're going to move that here. And it's okay that I don't see my whole face there because that's kind of the reason why I'm doing this. I use my keypad here to move it up. Let's try a little bit. There, try to get it as close to centered as I want. That's about that's close enough here. So same thing. Now, as you can see, my uh, my video is kind of bleeding up here. It's okay down here because my picture is kind of in the way there, or I should say, it's on top of it. So what I'll do here first off is let me trim that video so that my other one remains okay. Let's try that time make sure and select the layer there we go so now I can grab my video here and you have this rotation option so let's see let's rotate that and let's bring it down this one's gonna take a little bit more tweaking let's bring it back up Looks like we need a little bit of rotation fix there. Close enough. And then let's probably bring that cropping. That looks about right, right there. Uh, let me fix my logo up there at the top and go ahead and click on it. And instead we're gonna put it up here. That's pretty good right there. Let's just slide it over to the right and we'll bring it down some. Well, perfect. So now if I play this video, there's my uh, video playing within my phone. So if it looks like as I was actually holding my phone and the video is playing and that's how I captured this, but it's all magic. So there it is. And that's how you can add overlays to all those videos that you share on social media using Adobe Premiere Rush. If you have any questions or comments, please leave it in the comment section below. Don't forget, hit that like button and then subscribe to the channel. And if you would do me a favor, share this video with others so that YouTube will put it out there in front of more people. And once again, thank you for watching this video. And as always, be good to one another. Peace. I'm out.